Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaya. If you're new here, I don't know why I'm in such a good mood right now. I don't know. I'm just in a good mood. But for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Morphe 3503 Fierce by Nature Artistry Palette. Alright guys, so I'm going to also be doing a holiday look with this palette because I think it is the perfect palette with the perfect shades to do a nice glam holiday look. So I'm going to be reviewing the palette as we go along with the makeup look. I already have my base done in my eyebrows and then once I come up with the look with this beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette, then I'll decide which lip combo I want to do with the look. So to start off with the review, this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. So I bought it because of the look. <laughs> I don't know if that's bad or good, I don't know, but I always look at the appearance that catches my eye and like the combination of colors. It's all like a science, how you get people to buy stuff. So this palette definitely got me. So when I saw it, it was opened up, so I saw the shades inside. But the shades inside look exactly like the palette, so I really like that as well. The name of the palette goes so beautifully with the colors. So it's called Fierce by Nature, and you can see that it has reds and oranges and yellows. A stroke of black and then it also has like that fierce green stroke through there which we'll see in the palette as well. So let's go ahead and open up the palette and look on the inside. So guys, I found this palette at Ulta and it was $25 and I used the $350 off coupon because you guys know I'm always looking for a deal. This is what the inside looks like. So before I take that off actually, this is the plastic covering and it has all the shades named on them. So that way if someone wants to follow along. I'll say all the shade names and you'll know which shade to go to if you have the exact same palette. So then after we take that off, look at those colors. like, And I don't even think the camera is doing it justice. Like when I look at it, the colors are so vibrant. But then when I hold it up to the camera, it kind of takes away from it a little bit. But you get the picture. Like I said, it looks exactly like the outside. So this is the outside and then here is the inside. So you see that we have oranges and yellows and browns. We got some deep reds and burgundies, dark colors down here to add depth to our look. And then there's that green stroke right there and then a light shimmery green color right there right above it to go with it. So the palette literally looks like the packaging which is beautiful. And here in the middle, this is really the shade that got me. I don't know if the camera, oh yes, look at it. It's like a pressed glitter. So that is definitely gonna add the shimmer and the beauty to our look. I wanna see if I can make it show, oh look at that. It's so beautiful. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch all the colors for you and I'm going to go by row. So I'm going to start at the top row and I'm going to work my way down to the bottom so you guys can see how all the shades show up on my skin tone. Alright guys, now that you have seen swatches of the entire palette, let's go ahead and do a holiday look. 
I'm gonna take some tape and I'm gonna put it on the outside of my eyes. All right guys, so the first thing I'm going to be doing for this eye look is I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with a crease color. And I think the crease color that I want to use is on the top row, the fifth shade in, that one is called Savage. This one right here. So I'm gonna dip my brush in this color back here. Dip my brush in that color. Dust off the excess, actually. That dusted all of it off. <laughs> I'm not gonna dust off the excess. I'm gonna throw that all over my lid. The reason I do this is because I want all the colors to blend because I'm gonna do a pretty bright color close to my lid up here. So I want that bright color to blend with this color so that it's not such a harsh line. So the next color I want to dip into is going to be second row down, second shade in, that is called Flame Game. This one I am gonna hit the excess off because I don't want that to build up too fast. And this is gonna get real fiery real quick. <laughs> This is building up super fast, I'm so happy. So far it's coming out how I want it to come out. So the next shade that I'm going to go in with is going to be the middle row. It's going to be six shades in the second to last shade. Actually, it is called Explode. It's gonna be this shade right here. So I'm brightening up this crease and I'm bringing the color down. I don't want it so close to my eyebrow anymore. Bring it down right there in the middle. Tap off the excess, do the same thing on the other side. So you guys can see you're starting to see color. It's getting brighter and bri brighter, brighter and brighter. <laughs> but I wanna slowly build, cause I don't wanna make it too bright too fast and then I can't go back. So build slowly, blend, blend, blend. Like take that brush, blend those colors together. But don't bring the bright color too high, cause then it's gonna mess up the look. So then the next color I'm going to go with is the middle row and it's the second shade in, can you guys see it? It's right here, it's really bright. That shade is called Ball of Fire. <laughs> so we're definitely about to bring some fire to this look, this holiday look. I wanna put that shade really low down here, right where my eye creases. And I really want that shade to show. So I'm gonna start off with a light hand and just buff it in. So again, I'm gonna dip into Ball of Fire. Bring it right down there in the crease. What are you guys doing for your holiday season? I don't have a lot of plans this year. I just know, of course, like everyone, I just wanna spend time with my family. But I'm not going anywhere. I'll be staying right in the state, North Carolina. You guys going anywhere major? You travel really far for Christmas? What are you guys doing? I'm gonna keep building up that color. You guys can stop wherever you wanna stop, but I personally want it a little bit brighter. I have a special look that I'm going for. And actually, I would like an even brighter color, like a, even like more neon orange for the look that I'm going for. The more color I pack on, I wanna keep it closer to my lid. I don't wanna drag it too high because I do wanna keep that fade right there. So the more color I pack on, I'm bringing it even further down. I want you to see that bright orange shade, but because I'm gonna go in with a deeper shade next, I want that bright shade to still show. All right guys, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a smaller brush, still fluffy for blending, but just a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to go in with warning label here at the bottom. It's like it's such an awkward angle. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with warning label here at the bottom, and I want that right under that orange color. Packing a lot of that on right underneath the orange, because I want you to see the fade from orange to burgundy. I might need to add 
more orange, which if we need to do that, it's fine. As long as we don't start off with too much orange, we can always go back and add more. So same thing to the other eye, just packing on that burgundy color right under the orange. <laughs> My vision is coming to life. <laughs> Yes, this is exactly what I want. So then I'm gonna go back in with that big fluffy brush and I'm going to bring some more orange up here. I'm gonna go in with Explode again, which is right over here. And I'm gonna bring that above the burgundy. Cause, oh yes, that that's what I want. That is what I want. Oh yes, my vision is coming to life. <laughs> I'm so proud. I want that bright orange above that burgundy. This is exactly what I want. And then I'm gonna have to get a clean blending brush and I'm gonna have to blend this color up so it's like a seamless fade. So here I got a clean blending brush right here. So no product on it. I'm just going to blend this color, buff the edges. I don't want any harsh edges other than when I peel this tape off, that's gonna be sharp. For right now, I just want soft blended edges. This is so freaking pretty. Okay, so as far as matte eyeshadows and what I want matte on my face, that is done. I'm gonna cut the crease. I don't really do too many looks cutting the crease. I don't know why. Maybe because I have the hooded eyelids and I just put the color on the eyelid space that I have to work with. But for today, I'm going to get a little bit crazy and I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm going to take a flat brush like so, right here, a flat brush, and I'm going to take some concealer and cut my crease. I'm just going to take this concealer on my flat brush and I'm going to cut my crease the best way that I know how because I don't do this that often. Practice. Practice, practice, practice. So I'm going to put it down here, right in the middle, and then I'm gonna look up. Did you guys see that? So now the concealer got all the way up there. So now, I'm going to draw a pretty half moon shape on my eyelid. Half of a half moon. Girls can get this so perfect. Cheers to ya. Okay, half of a half moon. Don't see what I did there? Half of a half moon. And I do the same thing on the other eye, of course. I'm gonna take my concealer again, put some color, put some concealer on that brush and then I'm going to do the same thing again right on my other eye. I'm gonna put some right in the middle and then I'm gonna look up to the sky and blink. Blink a little bit more so you see the color got all the way up there so then I'm gonna connect that because if it does it when I blink now it's gonna do it when I blink after the glitter so I'm gonna go ahead and match it up right now. Hopefully these two half of half moon shapes are even because don't look like it right now that's I'm not good at this I'm not a perfectionist at the cut crease yet I'm trying okay okay so this is what I want I'm gonna go touch up this side over here Okay guys, so I'm gonna do something really crazy. Y'all gonna be like, what? But I literally just thought of this. I have to use that green shade. Like, I don't see any way around this. I have to use the green shade. So I'm gonna pop it right in the middle. <sighs> I'm kinda scared, but we gotta take chances here. So I'm taking my new best friend that I'm gonna have to get really friendly with. I'm going to take Come Alive and I'm gonna put it right in the center. Oh, I'm so scared. It's fine, it's fine. Actually, I'm gonna do something even crazier and I'm going to blend Come Alive with its little sister up here. 
Let's see what that'll do. I'm just honestly just going along with the go along. Whatever happens, happens. I'm not trying to look like a clown though, so we're gonna see. Y'all are probably like, Kaya, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm taking chances, cause I never play with color, ever, 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 other than when I did my Halloween looks. So, I'm taking a chance. And I like the chance I'm taking. It's looking pretty, I like it. More green, more. I want you to see her. Come alive is making my look come alive. And this is what I want. Okay. a lot hopefully I don't get judged at work whatever so I have these two shades mixed on my eyelid now and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm going to place that right here on my eyes this is my magic smoothie guys matches my eyeshadow look so I'm gonna take that shade and I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Right in the middle there. What am I doing? Who is she? <sighs> this is pure craziness. I'm gonna blend that forward a little bit into the green so it can be a seamless blend. Mm-hmm. I'm liking that a lot. And then I'm gonna take Make Believe because y'all knew I was gonna use it and I'm gonna put it right over the shade I just used just so it can have a base to lay on top of. And I'm gonna use my finger because the heck is that? My smoothie? I'm gonna use my finger. It's so freaking pretty. <sighs> so proud. Kinda have to drag it a little bit. There we go. Did it get on my lid? It did. Okay guys, so I want to deepen up the crease right behind the gold a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this dark purple down here and I am going to pop her right in the corner over here because I wanna deepen it up. This look it's so freaking bomb. Like I knew it looked bomb in my head, but now that I'm doing it, so freaking bomb. Blend everything together back there. Blend everything together back there. Dust off any excess that fell on my face. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel off my tape now. It is time to peel her off. What the heck? What happened? Hopefully you guys' eyes don't water like mine do. Okay, I kind of fixed it a little bit. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Nothing is perfect. 
Right, guys, so this is my eye look that I came up with, which is exactly what I want it to do in my head. I'm going to take a brush that looks like this and I'm going to add some color under my eye. Alright guys, so this is my final look for the eyes using the Morphe 3503 Fierce by Nature Artistry Palette. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some lashes and add a lip combo and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and this is the final look that I came up with. And I kind of cheated because I've actually been gone and came back so I've had this eyeshadow on for quite a few hours and has still held up. So I'll go ahead and zoom in and show you guys how it looks even though it's been hours since I put it on. Alright, so you guys probably can't even tell the difference from the last shot that I showed you guys, which was a close-up when I finished my eyes. The only thing that looks different is probably the fact that I put on eyelashes. Everything is still here. So my color under here is still here. My inner corner highlight is still here. And all my glitter that I put and my sharp lines that I had here, everything is still there. So guys, as far as reviewing the palette, I'm giving this bad boy a 10 out of 10. I freaking love this palette. Let me show you guys all the colors again, just so all of us can look at the pretty colors one more time. These are all the colors that come in the palette. I love this thing. This is great for all your holiday looks, all your holiday needs. I love this thing, I'm gonna have this thing forever. The only thing that I didn't like, and you guys saw when I swatched the second row, no, it was the first row, that one color that swatched really bad. But other than that, all the other colors swatched really pretty and they came out really pretty on my eyes. And the price is really good, it's not too expensive. Okay guys, so like I said, this palette is getting a 10 out of 10 for me. And it's going to stay very close around the holidays. Because I know for all of my holiday looks that I have coming up, I'm going to be using all of these beautiful shades. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys love how the look came out and how the eyes came out. Let me know if you would try a look like this and add a pop of color because I don't normally play with color, but today I played with a little bit of color and I freaking loved it. I got so many compliments and compliments from younger people too and older people, so it was like people from different age ranges really like this look and so that was really fun just walking around and being complimented. Like it just felt good. So guys, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and tag me Morphe down below so maybe they'll see this video I don't know I love their palette so maybe they'll see this video also guys comment down below if you like this holiday look and if you have this palette and if you're going to be following along with me and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not already if you're here watching right now and you're not subscribed pause this video and <laughs> subscribe down below and make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every time that I upload a video all right guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye